when people come up and ask, why are you not the Raider GM any longer? How do you answer that? I liked how you warmed up before you, you yes. warmed me up. Yes, I you got did. into that. One. Yes, that I good. did. Yes, that was good. Yeah. Uh, that was a veteran move. Yes. Um, how do I re- say that again? How do I respond? Why are you no longer the Raiders oh. GM? I, th- I think um, when I got there, there were a four and 12 team. And then we went seven and nine, eight and eight and 10 and seven. And we were on the nine yard line in the playoffs with 35 seconds left with four shots to tie Cincinnati who went to the Super Bowl, which kind of shows you how close the NFL is. Right. Um, why am I not? That? I think at the end of the day, Dan, it's, it's all about the owner has final say. And I think uh, Mark Davis has a good heart. Uh, I like Mark Davis personally. And at the end of the day, he decided that me and Rich Passaccia didn't get it done at the level he wanted, or that he felt like uh, a couple other guys could get it done at a higher level going forward. And I have to respect that because he's the boss. But if you beat Cincinnati, are you still the GM? I don't know the answer to that. I mean, you'd, you'd have to get Mark. Last time you talked to John Gruden. Uh, we text back and forth occasionally and, uh, he called me after I got fired. So what's the future? Uh, I'm kind of excited, you know, I'm, I'm an old guy and, and it's good to be excited. Um, and I've never been afraid of a challenge. So I'm kind of, I'm why I watch tape every morning. Uh, the challenge for me, Dan, is that, you know, if I watch tape from seven to 10, um, go get a workout for an hour and a half. It's noon. And now I got nothing to do. And I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me, Mike, I'm done at noon and then I got nothing to do. <laughs> I'm not used to that. And I'm not, you know, going hundred miles an hour back to the speed limit is hard, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the balls up in the air. I've had some opportunities to go to NFL teams. Um, I've had some of my television people call me. Um, I kind of look at this, Dan, like at age 63, I know me and I need to be around football, but whether it's an NFL team, whether it's doing television or in all honesty, I I could go coach the defensive backs at Haverford school right down the street and be really happy. So I'm just trying to keep it all up in the air. And when the right opportunity comes, I think I'll know.